Hey everyone, Chronic Override here. In today's video, we have the Add-on Studio Skin Designer Pro beta version going live. I'll walk you through the features and show you how to create your very own Minecraft skins with ease. Let's get started. To begin, you'll need to navigate to studio.mcaddonsmanager.com. Click on the Join Now button, fill out this information, and then press the Create an Account button, and then sign in. Once you're signed in, you'll have this Add My First Skin button. When you press it, you'll be able to give your first skin a name. You'll be able to set the texture dimension between 64 and 64 and 128 by 128. You can change the geometry from classic to slim. And for marketplace creators, you can change the type from free to paid. Once you have all of this set up, you can press save and exit, which will bring you to the editor window. Keep in mind, at the moment, this only works for PC, but don't worry, we're actively working on a mobile version which will be available in the coming weeks during the beta phase. From here, if you want to add another skin, you can press the green add button at the bottom, change the skin's properties to whatever you would like, and then press save and exit. If you want to edit a skin's properties, just select it and then press the edit button. This will allow you to re-edit the name, the geometry, and the type, but not the texture dimension. This is locked upon adding the skin. Press save and exit when you're done editing the details. If you want to remove a skin, simply select it and then press the remove button at the bottom. Then press delete and the skin is gone. Now let's explore the rest of the project tab of the end. First, there's the Switch Layers button, which allows you to switch between the inner and the outer layer of the skin. Also on the main screen, you have the Skin Part Toggler. So let's say that you're working on a specific part of the skin and it has parts of it that you can't see because other parts of the skin are blocking it, for example, the head. We can set our rotate point to head, and we can hide the other parts of the body, and now we can rotate around and see all of the other parts of the skin. You can quickly hide and unhide any parts of the skin that you want and change your rotate point by just switching it here with this quick toggle. Then we have different types of view modes. In draw mode, you get this toolbar which enables you to have different tools to manipulate the texture of the skin. You also have the preview mode which allows you to pan around the skin and see its different parts and it disables that toolbar. And you have the rotate mode which automatically rotates your skin so you can get a good 360 view. And if we put that back in draw mode, we also have the layer mode. In combine, it combines both the inner and the outer layers together. In active, you'll only see one or the other. And in overlay, it makes the layer that's not active translucent so that you can still kind of see it, but not really. All right, now we're going to talk about this toolbar on the left. We're going to start with this button here, the line with the up arrow, which is the import texture button. You can import any texture 64 by 64 or 128 by 128 that's already made. So like I have my chronic override skin that I'm going to import here. And now you can see that is active here in the window. You can toggle back and forth between the inner and the outer layers. Then you have your pencil icon here, which allows you to paint individual pixels on the skin itself. You have the eraser tool, which allows you to erase individual pixels on the skin. You have a color picker tool, which allows you to quickly select a color and then start drawing in that color. You have your undo and your redo buttons. And then you have a toggle the grid on and off and a focus painting mode. So focus painting mode is if you don't want spillover to another part of the skin. So you can see I started by painting in the body, but even if I move my cursor over here to any other part of the skin, it's still only painting inside of the body. Same thing, so like if I click inside the head, 
it won't go over here to the arm, it won't go over here to this arm, it won't let me paint on the legs until I let go of my click and then I click into a new area. And then again, it won't let me transfer over to another area. If you untoggle that, it'll just let you free draw all across the skin. And finally, we have the paint bucket tool, which when you have a color applied and you click anywhere, it will automatically change area around the same color to the new color or you can click and drag across multiple different zones and it'll fill those different colors with the color. Next is the palette tab. Here you can create and store custom palettes that are saved in the cloud for future use. Keep in mind this is only your color palettes and not your skins. If you refresh or exit the window for any reason your skins will be deleted and you'll have to restart over again unless you export the pack and have the skin PNG files available for you to import again. So to create a palette, you can click on the green add button here. You can give your palette a name. And then you can start adding colors to your palette. So for example, I have this red here. I can go over here and I can get white. Come down here and get black. Get a gray. So on and so forth. Then let's say I wanted to add another color palette. Add. Now let's do blue. White in this one. Let's do black in this one. Maybe purple, green, whatever you want. When the lock button is active, it allows you to edit the selective color, but if it's not active, it won't let you edit the color. So like right here, we're on green. If we go here and try to change it, it won't work. But if we unlock it, select it, and then go to a new color, it will change here. You could delete a color by just pressing the trash can. And if you want to delete a palette, you can just hit the remove button. And by having this palette here, you can then leave this window up and you can quickly switch between different colors in your palette just by selecting them and using the different tools here. All right, now we have the pack details tab. In the pack details tab, you can edit the pack's name and you can edit its version number. And then you can go down to the export tab when your pack is all done, and you can click on this export button, and then you can click on export again, and you will have a fully ready to import MC pack for Minecraft. For marketplace creators, all you would need to do is add your store art and your marketplace art. And that's it for this tutorial. Go get creative with Add-on Studio Skin Designer Pro. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join our Discord server. And if you encounter any bugs or need any help, feel free to open a support ticket in the Discord server and we'll be happy to help.